All right, so today I'm gonna be going over my CS2 settings and just how to optimize your PC for Windows. We'll optimize your PC for CS2 as well. CS2 has been out for like two years now and I used to release settings videos every year back in CSGO, just kind of update them, but this game's weird, it runs weird, and I got a new PC, so I've been trying new things and I think I've cracked the code. All right, we're just gonna hop into it. You're just gonna click here, go to your display settings, scroll down to your advanced display settings, and then double check that you're on 240 Hertz. You'd be surprised how many times it will reset or just you don't even have it on and then you're going to want to check your actual monitor and make sure that's also at the highest like refresh rate you have available and then you're going to want to right click go to your nvidia control panel with the way nvidia control panel and everything works now all you have to do is click on your adjust image settings instead of using custom settings just drag it all the way to performance then go to custom settings and the only two things you really have to check for i like having low latency mode on ultra some people will say to turn it off with my specs i'll put my specs on screen right now so if you're following this like word for word I would say make sure you have an X3D processor that I don't know why, but CS2 runs so much better on those compared to Intel. And then make sure you have a GPU that's good. You don't want to be GPU bound. CS2 is a CPU bound game, but also your GPU can really limit you as well. But if you have a bad PC, you might be out of luck in CS2. Right now I'm recording this video on April 13th, 2025, and just make sure you get a good Ryzen processor at this point. And as long as your GPU is somewhat newer, you should be good. Last thing you're going to do in your Windows, you're going to go into your graphics settings. And this is for Windows 11 and I found it makes my games run a lot smoother. When I upgraded my PC, I was confused why it didn't feel like a huge jump because I was running a 1080 for all those years on go because that's all you really needed. All you're going to have to do is turn this on optimized for windowed games. It feels better for me, especially if you play other games than just Counter-Strike. I got like a decent boost in FPS as well, but I leave this on. And the last thing you're gonna do now that you did all of your windows and graphic settings, there's more things you can do in your BIOS, but I recommend going and watching a full BIOS optimization video, especially if you have a newer PC like me. There's a couple things like XMP profiles that you could turn on and that should get you a huge boost. And if you don't know how to do that, it's just one simple YouTube video. All right, and before we open CS2, you're gonna open your Steam, go to CS2, right click on it, go to properties. These are the launch options I use. This one is mainly so my OBS works. Uh, this one I don't even think works. I probably should just get rid of it, honestly. And a lot of your launch options that people say work, there's only one thing that really does work in CS2 that's different from CSGO, and that's a command that I'll show you right when we launch the game. But you're gonna go to your installed files, and then you're gonna verify the integrity of your game files. I would do this every now and then, just to check especially after updates. And I actually haven't did it, so let's see if it's missing anything. Okay, so after you verified your game files, clear your shader cache. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So to delete your shaders, it's as easy as clicking in your search bar, typing in temporary files. It's gonna pull up its little interesting Windows 11 thing. And then you're gonna click on temporary files. And then it's gonna have this big list of everything you can delete. For the video's sake, I'm just gonna show you what is important. And that is your DirectX shader cache. So, and then click remove files. Last thing I wanna talk about before we hop into CS2, as someone who's played native and a bunch of other reses, if you go on to like this part where you make your uh, CS2 stretched, my game feels infinitely better if I'm playing any sort of stretched res, like 1610, 43 on GPU scaling. But if I'm playing 1920 or whatever my monitor's native resolution, it feels like it runs better to me. Display scaling felt a lot better. So if you happen to play that res, try it out. Actually, the last thing I want to say before we get into CS2, and you probably want to get into a habit of this, especially if you want maximum performance, is to go down here and then just close out of things that you don't need open. All right, so midway through this video, I forgot two pretty important things. I'm going to go into graphic settings. I find that whenever I go into my advanced graphic settings and I have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on, my game's 1% lows are a little bit better. And the second thing was go into your Counter-Strike 2 on your Steam, click Properties, Installed Files, browse your local game files. It'll take you right to where you need to go. Click Game, click Bin, click Windows 64, and then you'll find your CS2.exe. And then once you see this opening, you're gonna know you're in the right spot because you're gonna click on Compatibility. So back in CSGO, you would always wanna have this box checked called Disable Full Screen Optimizations. But these days with CS2, if your Windows and everything is optimized correctly and you're on a newer PC rig, you're probably gonna wanna have this disabled, but it may feel better for you on different systems. This is uh, completely, 
I would do trial and error and see what you like more or what works better. If you're following along in this video, this is the point where you restart your PC and probably do any of those BIOS optimizations I was talking about. All right, so about that one like command that was different from CSGO. In CSGO, you could have your rate set at the highest. I believe it was like 78,600 and something. If you know that number, it might be the default on what's on your console right now. In CS2, you can do a million. Just hit zero six times. One, two, three, four, five, six hit enter. So that's going to give you the highest rate on your client. And then on into the CS2 settings, I guess I'll go over my settings and stuff and just et cetera, et cetera, while we're here. And then I'll go into the video settings. So my crouch is on hold and that is on control and my walk is on shift nothing wild there my mouse sensitivity is 0.55 at 1600 dpi and right now i'm using the death adder v3 and if you're wondering what mouse pad i'm using i'm using a glass pulsar super glide and when you think glass mouse pad uh you think like no friction this one has friction so and uh my cloth mouse pad that i was using on cs2 was a zowie gsr audio settings this is what i like with my setup i am using a roadcaster pro 2 as my mixer and my headphones are a bare dynamic dt 990 pro the 250 ohm version so i would say don't use these settings unless you have like a studio headset and you want to try it you might not like it but this is the ones i like all right now on over to the fun stuff the video settings so if you have a good pc and you're wondering maybe why your game feels a little funky i would not use nvidia low latency but at the same time if your pc isn't as good you could try doing enabled i wouldn't use enabled plus boost at all disabled my mouse feels a lot more responsive and in a second later i'm going to talk more about that in this one other setting. I've heard from some people, I don't know if this is true, but maximum FPS in game, you always wanna cap it. I could be wrong, but at the same time, I feel like when I didn't cap it, my game felt worse Then that's me. So maybe it's my like setup and my settings, but I would try either or. And then now on over to your advanced video settings. So once again, I have a good PC. You can try copying this. You can, there's a couple settings that are like, yes, you should have this, but the two that you can mess around with are multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode and texture filtering mode. You're going to see a lot of people use bilinear and some people use 4X. I like how my game feels on 4X. On bilinear, I've used both for a long time. 4X or bilinear are the only two that I would use. Bilinear, my mouse feels a little bit more snappy. And I would say if you're using a lower sensitivity, I don't know, just me, bilinear feels better on a lower sensitivity. 4X, right now, I'm like, I enjoy that more, especially on a higher sensitivity. This could come down to personal preference. There are two distinct feels to the game, if maybe you know what I'm talking about, between 4X and bilinear. If you want to mess around with anything, just mess around with these two settings. The rest are kind of like standard. There was an update a few months back where this global shadow quality, if you had it on high at the start of CS2, it gave you an advantage, but now all the shadows are the same once they added this dynamic shadows update. So like to save and maximize FPS, you're gonna wanna put your global shadow quality on low and then your dynamic shadows on all because if you have it on sun only, then you're not gonna see people on maps like ancient. I like using model texture detail on medium. It makes the game a little bit more clear, but you can use low. Shader detail, you're definitely gonna have on low. Particle detail, you're gonna wanna have on low. Ambient occlusion, I feel like I have no idea what the setting does, but a lot of pros have it on medium, so I'm going to copy them. HDR, you're going to want to have on quality. Fidelity FX, 100%, you're going to have that disabled. This setting may be updated in the future where you're going to want to have it enabled, but I'm pretty sure this was a new thing added in the CS2 and it doesn't really work the best right now. And then my video settings, I am on 1610, 1920 by 1200, and I'm on a 27 inch monitor, so that's why I'm using this res. It's just, I like 1610. It looks looks great and I kind of like how the crosshairs look more. I've always used native, so I might go back to native. If I'm going to use 1610, this res looks great, so I like it a lot. So yeah, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And just to let you know, there are tons of other videos out there on optimizing your PC and some things may work for you that didn't work for me. And it's all about finding, I guess, with the way CS2 has been, what works best for you. If you have a good PC, try out these settings and let me know what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.